Okay, Celtics come back from their big loss against the Miami Heat, which ended the winning streak at 16 games. Now they start a new winning streak, hopefully, winning by 15 over the Magic. Um, 40 point first quarter started it all off, and uh, we shot 40% from the three point line. Basically, everything was going down tonight except Marcus Smart with the threes, but he didn't start really shooting them until, you know, late in the game when it was mostly just the third third string in there. Shemi Ojale also shot very poorly from three, but he was attacking the line. He didn't make his free throws this game, but he did get there six times. So he's just going to keep getting more and more comfortable, and he's going to keep getting to the line more and more. So rather than when Marcus Smart is off or Terry Rozier is off, Rozier had the uh, career high tonight, but Shemi Ojale, a guy with some real offensive gifts who is going to impact the game more and more, not just on defense, but on offense. And I just hope he keeps attacking the rim like that. Get to the, get to the line. He'll start making his free throws and uh, making other shots around the rim. And then his three point shot, it's just going to get more and more comfortable. So I'm not worried about him. And I think he's a big key going forward. Uh, Aaron Baines with a real nice night, 13 points. Kyrie Irving story of the game. Got to the line 10 times, made all 10 free throws on like last game, which I think he was like one for four or something like that. So he was huge for us. Jalen Brown, inefficient, but he had a big first quarter, started things off and uh, finished plus 20 game high with 13 points. Marcus Morris, inefficient, which is becoming a pattern. Al Horford, again, not shooting the ball, but making a big impact. 10 assists for him as well. So Jason Tatum. Real nice start. He had like 9 or 11 points or 8 points anyway in the first quarter and uh, 11 in the first half, but then he just didn't shoot anymore. So I guess his minutes were limited for some reason, in part because we were winning by so much and because Brad Stevens wanted to take more of a look at Shemi Ojale, who played more than Jason Tatum actually. So it would have been nice if Ojale had done a little more in his minutes. But uh, when he played in the first half, he was a big plus for the team. And one key thing in this game, guys, is that uh, Brad Stevens did indeed adjust his rotations. So he had Marcus Smart and Terry Rozier coming in early, I believe, and playing with these playing with these starters. So rather than having these guys playing with a almost pure bench unit, Brad Stevens figuring out the rotations, making sure that he's got at least two rock solid starters playing with the reserves and not just Jason Tatum and Marcus Morris, but rather say Al Horford and Jalen Brown or something like that. So, you know, up until the fourth quarter when it was all our fourth, third string guys, the plus minus, it was just really even between starters and bench. And that's partly because Brad Stevens doing a better job of mixing up, blending his talent, blending his first string with his second string and uh, getting more solid, consistent, quality offensive production that way. So we live and learn, and uh, the Orlando Magic are down, and I don't know who's up next, but I look forward to covering it. Guys, let me know what you thought of the game. I'll see you soon. Peace.